We met Jada Wada today. Yes, and I gave her my makeup and she said she loved it. And I told her we had matching names. Exactly. So now we're like locked in. Locked in. All the way. Period. <laughs> Culture at YouTube makes some noise for YouTube. I am actually an HBCU graduate as well. I now work period. This is the illustrious Morehouse College for real. I like y'all. <laughs> Last year, YouTube paid six billion dollars to the music industry. That's six billion. There's a bunch of different ways you can make money on YouTube, um, but I want to focus today on something called YouTube Shorts. But with no further ado, I'd like to bring forward Brittany, Tuma, and Wallow. Two, six, seven. You guys think that these kids can utilize? What are some tangible skills? I think uh, nothing is more powerful than you. I think when we live in a culture now where everybody is so focused on emulating us, worshiping social media to the point nobody, everybody's afraid to be them. I always, I always go, I always go off the eight billion. I'm always sticking to eight billion. And the reason I stick to eight billion is because everybody in here is your own personal brand. Everybody in here is a company to me, and this, this I'm, gonna, I'm gonna lay it out. Now, out of them eight billion people that's on the planet, I think each one of these people could generate 100, 200,000, some of them could generate a million, a million uh, consumers, a million fans, whatever it may be, if they're willing to think outside of the box of their comfort zone. If so don't five or 15 people don't support you, you'll stop. But if you're strong enough to keep going, you can connect with the eight billion people that's out there to really connect, but you got to be willing to be you and be authentic, and that's scary these days because nobody want to be judged and uh, nobody want to be uh, looked at as not being cool. But I just think it, cool is you. Cool, cool is cool is something that's called individualism. Style is called individualism, and I think a lot of times people is not being told it enough. So they look outwardly to look for approval and acceptance of what cool is. And a lot of the stuff that y'all be looking at on social media, because y'all on the outside, we on the inside, a lot of this stuff be manufactured cool. Manufactured fly. You see what I'm saying? Um, and y'all don't even see it, y'all don't even know it. And I think if you view, that's gonna stand the test of time. Oh, oh all right, my friend, thank you. Y'all wanna do some extraordinary stuff. Number one, OPM, other people's money. Learn about that. Just, you know, you're looking at yourself and saying, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. 
There's a lot of money out there. There's a lot of business, small business funding out there. There's a lot of stuff out there where y'all can get OPM in order to do y'all thing. But one thing that's more important than OPM is OPR, other people's relationships. You might don't have that, but you might have the talent, you might have the ingenuity, you might have, you might be idealistic. Partner up with somebody that got relationships, or partner up with somebody that got a mouthpiece. Because if you speak well, you're going to eat well, and you're definitely going to sleep well, but you got to have a mouthpiece. One of y'all in here is great at being, y'all talented, but y'all might be shy, or y'all might not just not be a communicator, y'all just like to stay alone. I'm a sophomore strategic legal and management communications major with a concentration in advertising from Waldorf, Maryland. So, um, my question is, at a time when social media makes it appear as though things happen overnight, how do you think that we all can strengthen the muscles needed for the work and the longevity that our goals require? Um, because a lot of times, there was another panel that I was watching, sorry, I'm a talker, but I was watching a panel and it said that um, a lot of people want success but aren't prepared for it because they don't work on strengthening the muscles that it takes to handle that success or that goal. So, and you guys as humble professional opinion, what are some uh, things that you can give to us, judging? I think you gotta know how to identify where you wanna go and the people that's willing to take the journey with you. Just because somebody is your friend, that don't mean they can be your business partner. Just because somebody is your family, that don't mean they can be your business partner. Find people, and, and, and find people that's around, that's willing to be a part of the team. Hello. Black Friday, go f the YouTube. You gotta beat that out though. <laughs> she be out here working. Put her on there. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh. Okay. I'll take a hat. Thank you. Get your hat. Get your hat in. Spend my 
around time, double checking pay stubs to watch out for unauthorized users, cause they'll make you go bankrupt. Hey, my guy was a black man. Nah, my guy was a black woman. My guy was the lunch lady. She always knew exactly what I wanted. I remember public school told me, hey, your God is a policeman. And your God is a government. I said, that can't be true, because my God made a covenant that he would never be the reason black brothers and sisters struggling, because we the OGs. We the originals. Not be us, but indeed us. We the way movers and shakers. Got culture creators. Black voices is much more than Twitter spaces. This art table is straight, decorated with candles. The place is full with food. We break bread in our sandals. The hate, they spew. We got our own reservation. Faith in one another. Every sister and brother exchange our own money. They can keep their reparations. Cause my guy was a linguist. That's why we got our own flow. And our own language like BFFR. Or don't piss me off. Like, 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 come on sir, come on heels. And still got the white girl saying, yes, queen slave for real. Why? Cause we determined what's good. And we determined what's bad. Like that Popeye's chicken sandwich, for instance. And that situation with R. Kelly. Like, 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 choose some shorts. In that situation with R. Kelly. Like, like, anything with Beyonce. And then Kendall Jenner with Pepsi. Food that's mad spicy. And those black square posts they call activism on IG. My God didn't vibe with that. As a matter of fact, my God mad at Bougie. My God never shot nothing but directed my life into a movie, you see. He the executive producer. He gonna get the credit and them credits. For all my good and bad episodes, all my script is backed by what he wrote. My hero turned water bottles to wine glasses for glass cylinders that he broke. Hey, my guy went to an HBCU. I think he went to HU. Yeah. We walked through the valley of the shadow of death, unharmed. Found community through communion by breaking bread from punch out, black burning and annex on the yard. Got foundational horns all up through here. From Alpha to Omega, because of the Alpha and Omega. They can't check. And when I talk like this, my faith can't be debated. I was once told that Heaven's Gates is like 7-Eleven. It's 24-7 for you and I, it'll never close. As long as I stay in purpose and as long as we stay in prose, cause my God is somebody. But wait, your God is someone. Which means our gods, us gods, are the only ones that will really know. Thank y'all, y'all ready to get started? Other people happy and also being able to make 
their family's happy as well. So that's what it's about to me, just making everybody be able to eat. Definitely. Yes, Jada! Yes, Jada, yes! That test. Or getting up to work out, going to the gym, you know, breaking up with that dude. Like in the industry, they can make it seem like only one black woman can win. Yes. Um, how do you fight that like comparison or constantly being compared to other entrepreneurs or other people in your in your industry as well? Comparison is the thief of joy. So like I'm in a lane of my own. I don't look at nobody else. Right. I stay in my own lane. I do what works for me. And what works for me might not work for you. Period. And um, you really just gotta keep your eyes on your own paper, and especially in this industry. And it's okay to applaud the next person. Right. You know, like I'm friends with multiple people who sell clothes, but mm -hmm. that don't take away from what I got going on because I'm a shot regardless. And so what I learned here on Howard's campus, one is the hustle and don't stop. The second thing is don't let nobody tell you no. Say it like don't let nobody tell you no. They can't stop you. And then now, all these years later when I'm back on campus, I'm like, wow, I do see myself in so many of y'all beautiful people. And what happens is you gotta kick in the door. Waving a four, four! Don't let, y'all too young for that? Do y'all know that rap lyric? Okay, come to the center and I'ma teach y'all, but you gotta kick in the door and you have to make your own way and you have to create a brand for yourself, but don't let anyone tell you you know. Hey, there's nobody like Jada, there's nobody like Miss Young, there's no other Autumn Joy, and there's no other one of you out there. So piggybacking off of what Jada was saying, just because you may see other people doing things, they're not doing it how you're doing it. And it takes me back to the old adage, the moment you stop is the moment that that opportunity was right there waiting for you. So keep going and remember that you are the only person that has your gift, that has your talent, no matter how many other people are doing it. What size y'all get? Small. This is small. This is a large. Small. Okay. 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 Cute. Oh, that's cute. Thank you. Thank you. And y'all should go. Oops. Sorry, Hallie. Y'all should try to move up to the side. They're like, okay, by that. No, that blue thing. I cut like that. Yeah, cut right there. Cause that's what we did. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. Say hey to the vlog. We met Jada Wada today. Yes, and I gave her my makeup, and she said she loved it. And I told her we had matching names, exactly. so now we're like locked in, locked in, all the way. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Did she get in already? Mm -hmm. No. Ain't no funny. I should throw a dress to show in the car, shouldn't I? Yep. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. Do it.
Thank you, Kamari. Always working. Damn me in the truck. Yeah. That, is that okay? Like, they don't <laughs> he even about to hop in the car. car. Right, like, what the hell? <laughs> He's literally in the car. Like, he, like, he doesn't <laughs> care. He doesn't care at all. So pretty. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye. Oh, let me get on. Okay.